I'm Steve and welcome back to Movie Chats. In this video I'm going to be viewing one of my all time favourite movies. It's 1995's Braveheart. That's right, this epic movie is 26 years old and even when I watch it now it holds up better than most of the so called modern greats. The music and soundtrack are awesome and the performance from the cast is just superb. Right? Let's get stuck in, so sit back and enjoy. Braveheart focuses on the story of William Wallace who leads the Scots in a struggle for freedom against England's brutal rule. Braveheart and Folks an old fashioned tale and earns a title of movie epic and it's just absolutely superb. Mel Gibson's got the stroke of brilliance about him to revel in those epic qualities of tragic romance and unbound heroism and the film is shot brilliantly with a cast of thousands. Braveheart's also an explosive action movie so although the logical comparison with Rob Roy which is another story that focuses along these lines it's more like Lethal Weapon or Die Hard in my opinion. I know that's a bit far-fetched. The battle scenes and combat scenes are brutal and they're awesome. They really give you that feel that you could have been there or, or in the middle of it as it's happening. Another film that does this really, really well is Save for Private Ryan in that opening scene. And it just captures you in that moment. I've already mentioned once in this video that the cast performance is superb in this movie and with the below supporting cast I can see why it won so many awards at the time of release. You've got Catherine McCormick, Patrick McGowan, Brian Cox, Angus McFadden, Brendan Gleeson and Tommy, uh, Tommy Fallon from um, Sons of Anarchy. There's a whole rock of others that I could have listed here as well. I was amazed by James Robinson who plays the younger William Wallace at the start of the film and how much he did look like Mel Gibson as the film went on. The soundtrack to the film is awesome and it's one I can listen to and I have listened to it by itself. It was that good it's even been turned into a dance track over the years. The film was topped off by the beautiful setting, the scenery they views in Scotland and Ireland are just breathtaking and stunning. With everything I've said here so far, and um, you know I love my facts, and um, there's certain things that are wrong with this movie. Princess Isabella of France would have only been a child when Wallace was executed, so it's highly unlikely they've ever met, never mind slept together. There's the bridge for the Battle of Stirling, for example, and this was totally ignored during the battle, and considering its strategic importance to it as well, I think we should have included the 13th and 14th century Scottish warriors didn't wear blue paint, and tartan wasn't invented until the late 15th century. So there's a loads more that wasn't covered in this film where history books go back and fill in the gaps for us. That being said, the way that the film combines elements of action, romance, brutal violence, it's a period drama, which definitely makes it epic worthy and is definitely one for you to go and watch. Get it on your watch list. So there we have it, ladies and gents. There's my review of an epic movie that should be on everyone's watch list, or at least go and watch it once. Definitely will be appearing on my Mel Gibson's Top 5 and 5 video when I start that series back up in the new year. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also find us on Instagram on the Movie Chats 2021 and our Facebook page and group Movie Chats and Film Geeks. That page is growing every day. I'm Steve, you've been watching Movie Chats and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.